In this video, we're going to take a look at the fundamental differences between using the get and post methods. So let's start out by creating our form using our field set, our legend, post versus get, and we'll add in one singular input type of type text and give it a name of username and our input of type submit and we'll leave the default text on that button. Now for our action as you may see I've created a destination.html file which is just a plain old HTML5 document structure with a paragraph element saying this is the destination.html file So we're actually going to be sending this data per se to the destination.html file. Destination.html inside the action attribute as it's in the same folder, this HTML directory. So we're going to use our method. We're going to have a quick review of the get method. And so we're going to save this and try it out in the browser. As you can see, we just have our forms.html in the URL bar. It's going to enter in some arbitrary data, clicking submit, and you can see we're sent to destination.html as specified in the action attribute, and we have a query string. This username is the name attribute of the input and the value that I had entered into that input. So that's basically what the get method does. And as you can see, it isn't very secure as the contents of that form has actually been appended to the URL in the form of a query string. So 99% of the time you would not use the get method. You would use the post method. So we'll take a look at using the post method. As this is not a server-side processing video, we won't get right into what we'd actually do with the data once it's been sent via post, but I'll show you one of the fundamental differences. So let's save this and open it up in the browser. So let's type in some arbitrary data, click submit, and we're sent to destination.html. And notice we do not have a query string appended to the URL. So 99% of the time, we would use the post method. So that's one of the fundamental differences between get and post. Post does not have a query string, or does not form a query string. So you can see where this would be useful. I hope you've learned a little bit about the fundamental differences between the get and post methods and that we would never use the get method to submit or have the user submit any form of sensitive information.